The Stono Rebellion occurred on Sunday, September 9, 1739, in South Carolina. Some details about this rebellion are unclear, and some may be exaggerated as the details were recorded by white Carolinans. This rebellion was provoked by Spain. England and Spain were going to go to war over the American colonies. In order to throw Britain off, Spain decided to create disorder in the colonies. To accomplish this, Spain promised freedom and land to any slave able to escape to St. Augustine in Florida. St. Augustine was the place several other slaves had already escaped. St. Augustine is believed to be built by the escaped slaves. Sunday was the best day for the slaves to escape because this was considered their day off. While the whites attended church, slaves were able to grow food and work for money. Sunday was also the only day the whites did not carry a firearm. In an attempt to prevent an uprising, the Security Act was passed. This act stated that all white men must carry a firearm when attending church on Sundays. Therefore, there will no longer be a day when the whites were not carrying a firearm. Although precautions were taken, a rebellion still took place. The rebellion taking place on September 9, 1739, started with 20 slaves. The leader is unknown, but some believe it may have been a man named Jemmy. They started near the Stono River and began marching down St. Paul's Parish towards St. Augustine, Florida. Along the way, they robbed Hutchinson's store for any weapons and ammunition they could find. They then proceeded to kill the storekeeper. However, the bloodshed didn't stop there. The rebels killed about 20 whites, including women and children, within their 10-mile march. Not only did they kill any white along the way, they also burned the houses that belonged to their white victims. Along the way, the original 20 rebels recruited more rebels. By the end, there were 20 to 60, even possibly 100 in all. The slaves of Thomas Rose heard about the rebels and their killing spree, so they hid their master and his family. Although Rose was safe, his slaves were recruited into the rebellion. There is also record of the rebels sparing the life of one master because he didn't treat his slaves poorly. As the slaves approached Edisto River, they came across Lieutenant Governor William Bull. Bull was able to notify the militia due to the fact he was on his horse. When the militia arrived, shots were fired. By the end of this little battle, there were about 20 whites and 40 blacks found dead. The rebels that were not killed during this battle were beheaded. Some of the heads were displayed on posts as warning to other slaves. Some of the four slaves were not punished but let go. To prevent any more rebellions, the Negro Acts that were already in place were enforced strongly. Slaves were no longer allowed to earn money, grow food for personal use, or obtain an education.